Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics in the shed, gearing up for a session on the water. My mum and dad are coming to stay. My dad wants to get out for a fish, but unfortunately he has bought a 20 knot wind with him. So it is blowing an absolute gale out there, 20 to 25, but we're gonna get out there and have a quick go. So today's video is all about getting out on the water and giving you some tips for fishing in the wind. All right, before we get out on the water, I thought I'd just talk a little bit of fishing in the wind in here before we get out there, where it's probably gonna be lumpy, noisy, and a little bit hectic. So we're in the shed gearing up. When I'm fishing in the wind, one thing I always consider is safety. So I always think safety first in terms of where you're fishing or where you're launching, what the wind is doing, because you don't wanna get there, out there and put yourself at risk. So safety first is always a big one. And then for me, I like to keep it simple when I'm fishing in the wind. So I've grabbed a handful of Slim Swims, Z-Man 2.5 inch Slim Swims, great little plastic. I've got some jig heads here quarter ounce 10 demons and I love that combination of the slim swims on the demons on a quarter 10. It's a very very versatile presentation and this little plastic lots of different species eat it. So when I'm fishing in the wind I don't want to try and get too techy with presentations or anything like that. This little plastic will swim on the drop, it'll swim with the drag of the wind dragging the line, it'll swim whenever it's moved. So it's a great plastic because there's always action, it's a great plastic because it's bite size as well. So it's going to catch lots of different species, you know, potentially brim, trevally, flathead, lots of different things will eat a two and a half inch slim swims. So that's one thing we're doing is keeping it simple. We're also keeping it simple with half a dozen spin rods. I'm gonna rig those half a dozen spin rods with jig heads and plastics before we go out there because it, it might be rough and messy and I don't wanna be rigging while I'm out there trying to control the boat and that as well. So if I've got half a dozen rods ready to go in the boat, we don't have to think about rigging while we're out there. A few other things I would consider in terms of fishing in the wind, think about which direction the wind is coming from. So have a look at what the direction is of the wind, wind is and once you know the wind direction, you can look at a map or look at the area that you fish and you can decide whether you want to fish on a protected bank somewhere out of the wind where the wind's not going to get you or whether you want the wind blowing onto that bank and stirring up the water, which can create a bit of a bite as well. But then you've got to think about jig head weights and stuff. I'm going to need more weight to punch into the wind. I can potentially use less weight to cast a big long cast with the wind and get that plastic sinking down nice and naturally. So have a think about wind direction before you get out there on the water as well. Am I looking for shelter or am I looking for wind stirring up the water, which can bring fish into the shallows and get them feeding and that sort of thing as well. So there's lots of other things to consider in terms of fishing in the wind. Probably the other thing I think about is where I'm gonna fish in terms of structure and that sort of thing, because structure is a big, such a big part of fishing. So I generally have two plans when I go out to fish in the wind. Plan number one is, give me big wide open space that I can drift over. And that way I'm not worried about trying to fight the wind and hold position. I can use the wind to push me over a big large area that I wanna fish. So that's a great one. We're gonna go out on the lead up to the high tide. So I know we can get up on the flats and we can just push over the flats and see if we can find some fish biting. The other one that I do, plan B, so plan A is have a drift over some flats. Plan B, if that's not happening, is to have a milk run of key spots that you wanna hit. So all those spots that I think of in the past, oh yeah, we've got a fish there, oh, we've got a few fish there, we've got some fish there. I'm gonna go and spend a bit more time on them. So on the flats, I'm not worried about, I'm just covering water. Big long drifts, big long casts with the wind cover water. When I get to the other spots, I wanna spend more time focusing right here. I know I've caught fish here before, so I'll spend more time holding position and covering that area, then move to here, hit this area, then move to here and hit this area. So generally we'll just go out for a big flats drift. If it's not happening, we'll bang a few key spots and then we'll head for home. So buckle up for this one. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Dad and I are gonna get out on the water. We're gonna brave the wind. Otherwise we're just gonna be sitting around at home and getting frustrated. So let's go out and see if we can catch a couple of fish in the wind. And while we're out there, we'll give you a few tips to get hooked up. Fingers crossed, fish on. Yep, yep. Oh, giant herring. See him throw it, or is he still on there? He's still on, isn't he? Do you want that? Oh, go you good thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Everything eats the slim swims, Dad. <laughs> Everything eats the slim swims. Why not start things with a giant herring, eh? <laughs> oh, he's off. He's off. That's all right. That's all right. That's a bit of fun. <laughs> I don't like getting them out of the water anyway, those guys. Gee, that's pretty wild. They give you some run of the drag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from quiet to absolute mayhem in about two seconds flat. Giant herring, good fun. Yeah, those guys, they don't live real well out of the water, so if I get them, I like to just get them in the net, leave them in the water, and, un and unhook them, eh? Righto, so today we are braving the wind. We're out here fishing in the wind, fishing that slim swims, give ourselves a chance for fishing. You'll probably hear that wind belting, so we thought we'd give you a few tips for fishing in the wind. Tip number one, if you can, avoid the wind. Go and hide around the back of the mangroves or something like that. We're not doing that today, we're gonna to get out in amongst the wind. So one tip I'd give you is use the wind to help you move across areas and fish. So basically we're just drifting flat drain, flat drain, just drifting a big long drift covering water looking for a fish. The first fish we've come across was that giant herring that threw the lure, which was pretty cool. We don't really want him out of the water anyway. But um, yeah, use the wind to your advantage. So use the wind to push you across productive looking water, cover a bit of water, that sort of thing. That would be tip number one I'd say, is use the wind to set your drift. Tip number two, fishing in the wind. Use the wind to help you throw a long cast and cover plenty of water. You may not be able to get yourself in the best position and on the right angle and all of that sort of thing due to the wind, but what you can do is you can use that wind to cover more water. Throw a big long cast, get that little work and, and just cover, more, cover plenty of water and see if you can find yourself a couple of fish. It looks shallow here, but it's actually quite deep. You'll see a little, it'll take a little while to get down there. I think it's the water flowing out of here. Dirtying it up. Yep, 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 what are you? Oh. Got those horrendous conditions, but we're still hooking a couple. Just using that wind to throw big long casts. Looks like a grunter. It is a little grunter. Not big enough. But we got the bite, put a bend in the rod, good fun in these windy conditions. So that little slimmy so far, we've got a giant herring and a grunter. A barred grunter, this one, so he's definitely too small. What are you doing? There you go, barred grunter. See you later, buddy. Yeah, Ronnie on. Good work, mate. Did you get a flatty off that edge? <laughs> Not bad out in the wind here, mate, eh? <laughs> Where else would you rather be? There he is, down the back there. It's silver. It's a pocket rocket grunter. We might be onto a few grunter. You can hear that guy grunting there. Such a cool little fish. Well, that's a barred grunter that Ronnie's caught. Only a pocket rocket. Hello, little fella. <laughs> but um, we want him about 50 centimeters long. See you, mate. They would love it in here at the moment with all this water being stirred up by the wind. They'd be in there foraging around, picking up a feed. So we've got a giant herring and a couple of grunter braving the wind. All right, tip number three for fishing in the wind. Grab your Procure Super Gel and scent up. In windy conditions like this, you often don't have as much control over the presentation that you're fishing. So you want to give yourself every chance of a fish eating it and hanging onto it longer. So by adding Procure Super Gel to it, I've got a bit of sardine pilchard on here. 
we're giving ourselves more chance of that fish holding on longer to that presentation and, and finding it, even though we may not have as much control over that presentation, as much feel. So we may not set the hook as quickly as we would normally. How you going, Dad? That wind's cranking 20 to 25. Yeah. Beautiful day on the water. <laughs> Uh, no, some people might think we're not quite right, but we've had a little bit of fun. We caught a couple of fish. I think we've still probably got a couple more in us. Had a bit of fun in the 20 knot winds. We're, we're both down the back of the boat now with the spot lock on pointing into the breeze. Let's try and control that a bit. A couple of big birds up there, though. They're loving the wind. does help on a day like this one. <laughs> Tip number four for fishing in the wind. Wind blowing banks. So that's what we're fishing right now. A lot of the time wind blowing banks are pretty uncomfortable to fish but also they can produce a lot of fish. The water gets stirred up, food gets stirred up, the water gets oxygenated fish come in and they feed in this sort of area so we don't mind fishing on these banks that are wind blowing you can also fish banks where you're protected that's another option so just have a think about the area that you're going to go and fish on a windy day do you want the wind blowing onto the bank or do you want to be protected by the bank what's going to be good for the species you're targeting and the fishing that you're wanting to do you can always just look at the wind, wind direction then have a look at a map and see some sheltered spots where you can fish or some areas like this. If you are fishing off the bank on a wind blown bank, often creates a mud line and you can fish that mud line and that gets fish in there feeding on there. Fresh and salt, the fish will get up and feed on that dirty water line. So that would be tip number four is just consider whether you're going to fish and whether you want that wind blown bank or that protected bank to fish. Tip number five, fishing in the wind. Be systematic about working the areas that you want to fish. If there's a good bit of structure that you want to fish, it's worth anchoring on or spot locking on and just work the area thoroughly. Give yourself a good chance to cover the area effectively. And instead of just working big long banks, a lot of the time I'll just go and fish specific pieces of structure so that I can focus on them a lot more effectively in the windy conditions. At the moment, we've set Dad up just on a bit of a sandy point. And there's a bit of a drain comes out here. So hopefully, we can find a flatty in here in amongst the weed. <laughs> bit of weed, a bit of a weed challenge, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Beauty. How's it feel? It's coming out with the flow there a bit, eh? Hey? Oh, it's a nice one. That's that's a here she comes. She's around the back of the donk. Oh Whoa. no! Oh no! It's gone. Oh, it was around the back of the donk, eh? Hey? I couldn't get at it. Yeah. What a bugger! Yeah, that was mid. 40s maybe a little bit bigger yeah this wind is ridiculous get out there and it. I don't know probably catch yeah weed oh no fish <laughs> oh I threw that one down his throat dad he's not real happy either Don't tell me I've jagged a stingray in the head. Wouldn't want to do that. He's cranky, this, uh, this fish. He is cranky. How's that though, mate? Yeah, straight down. Straight down his neck, 20 knot winds. What would you want to be doing, sitting on the couch? 
20 knot winds and we're out and about we've got a had a giant herring that was a bit of fun a grunter each and now we've got the next what do we got here dad i wonder it might be a nice flatty i think Beautiful, you got her mate, you got her, what a weapon, <laughs> 25 knots of awesome, <laughs> there we go folks, look at that one there, that is a good looking fish, that's the one you've been looking for, that is the one dad, that's a nice fish, alright folks there she is, got my TT lip grip so I'm going to throw her on the mat, and she is every bit of 70 plus, I reckon, Oh no, I'm giving it too much credit. 68, Dad. 68, beautiful. 68 centimetre flatty. That is an absolute beautiful fish. I might put you in charge of taking a photo of me. What do you reckon? Do that. What's the chances? Righto, folks, there you go. How's that? That is a cracker, 68. Uh, forget about the 20 knot winds, Dad and I don't mind. We snuck out to have a go and that's what we got rewarded with. Often fish love the wind, they get up and feed and that sort of thing. So we got this big girl here. We're going to put her back in the water. 68 centimetre flatty. Real nice fish. Let's send her. Oh, she's away. She's away. Fish on. Fish on. That's what it's about.